Howdy YouTube, Esnex here with a video for you. I'm going to answer a user question in one of my previous videos on how to make your own custom Arch ISO. Now I just got this comment about 13 hours ago, so I figured I'd do a little video response tutorial to hopefully answer this viewer's question. Now the question is, the first one on the list here, how can I install it on PC? I can't use file ISO I create to install. File ISO just run on VMbox. Okay, so he doesn't really say how he's trying to install it. I assume Calamari, since that's the GUI installer included. And it looks as though he downloaded one of my ISOs or my templates and use the template on the ISO or from SourceForge. Now the templates were built, the latest ones were built on the 15th of September. The ISO was built on the 3rd of September. So the changes in the templates between the 3rd and the 15th were just a rebuild of Calamari's and the other three packages to take into account any changes in the packages uh, dependencies of Calamari's that at that time were simply uh, QT5 related files, uh, KDE Plasma related files. Uh, just in case any of those changes, those newer files would impact Calamari's running, I decided to respin the templates only, not the ISOs. So, just a brief explanation. If you're over at my SourceForge page, you have the ISOs, and they were built on, well, they were uploaded on the 5th, but they were built on the 3rd or 4th, I believe. So, the templates included on the ISOs are now oh, about two and a half weeks old. The templates in the templates folder were built on the 15th. Uh, that's only three days ago. Now, either way, if you use the old template on the ISO or the newer template in the templates folder on SourceForge, you are going to experience a problem running Calamari's on your ISO that you build today. And that's what this user, uh, Fan Hong Kwong, is experiencing. Um, I can read in, I know a, a bit about why this is happening. So we're gonna go over how to get around that kind of problem until I update and upload new build templates, which should be in a day or two. I'm sort of waiting on Arch packages to finalize and a couple, one in particular update to come down. Now there were a couple of updates very recently in the last three days that affect Calamari's running. If we go over to the Arch Linux website, and do a package search, we can, and I'll, I know this because I've already tested it, but I'll show you. The boost package was recently updated twice in the last three days. Uh, boost is now at version 1.80.0-2, and boost libs, same version, 1.80.0.-2. They were when my templates were built on the 15th and on the 3rd, Boost was at version 1.79.0-1 uh, or dash 2. That change in the version of Boost and Boost Libs is now preventing Calamari's that is included, that was built in the templates in my ISO from working. And we'll show you that in a running system here. Now I just built 
this ISO today. However, I included, let's go to the Easy Archer folder. I included the templates from the third, which were the ones on the ISO. So let's take a template here, copy it over to our home folder, extract it, and now we have the build template extracted. So in the opt folder is my local repository that's used to contain the hold the four packages that I include in installation in the ISO. Among those is Calamares. And if we look at the properties, we can see, well, the modified date uh, is today. Uh, the modified date was Thursday, uh, access date today. That would be Thursday of last week. That would <laughs> should align with the 14th or the 15th when these were built. Okay, we're going to leave this up here because we're going to refer back to this folder. But let's try to run Calamari's. So if we go to install system, give it our password, we can see nothing is happening. Let's try that again. Got to type the right password. Nope. Still nothing. Okay. Let's open up a terminal. Make it a little bigger. Run Calamari's with the D switch, which is to output debug information. A lot more useful in determining why a program isn't running. Uh, interesting. Invalid. Hmm. Oh. Pseudo. <laughs> okay. Now that we've run Calamari's with the debug switch, we can see there's a mismatch. It's looking for a libboost library numbered 1.79.0. If we do a Pac-Man QQ, I believe, let's see, uh, boost libs, Okay, we have to do Pac-Man SY first. Okay, that's not enough information. Let's do a QS. Okay, we can see the installed version of Boost Libs is 1.80.0.2. So Calamari's is looking for that version. The newest version of lib boost libs is this version. That is the reason Calamari's isn't starting. Okay, hopefully that was clear. Now the way to fix that is to rebuild Calamari's. So how do we do that? Back in the home directory, Easy Archer, I include a folder called PKG Builds. So we have Calamari's, CKB Comp, OpenSwap, and Trizen, and a text file. Let's open up the Calamari's folder, and here is our PKG Build file, the dependencies for Calamari's, and the settings I include. Now, if we want to rebuild Calamari's, we're going to open a terminal and simply type M-A-K-E-P-K-G. There we go. Now, 
let's go ahead. We'll, we'll build it. It'll take a little while, actually. You do not have write permission. Oh, because it's in. OK. Let's do it this way. Let's close down that. Let's take this folder, copy that to our home directory. And do it from here. Now we have write permission. So it's going to go ahead and build Calamari's. Now, as I said, this will take anywhere from five to 10 minutes, depending on, I don't know, depending on the speed it takes. So let's minimize that. And we can minimize this as well. Cool. Once we have Calamari's rebuilt against the current, the newest libraries, especially the boost lib libraries, we will have a working Calamari's package. And we're going to have to then put that into our build instead replacing the Calamari's package that came with the template. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Actually, while it's building, let's go ahead and look at that. So in the text file, let's open this up. And let's turn line wrapping on. It basically tells you how to go about recompiling Calamari's. It also tells you how to rebuild the easy repo. So all steps you are going to need to use to fix Calamari's with the newest version, the newest compiled version, and included in your build uh, so you get a working Calamari's at the end of this. Now, as I said, in a day or two when our, the Arch repo has one or two more updates I'm waiting on before I do a rebuild and re-upload of the templates. Boost was a major one. Boost gets updated usually once to twice a year. It's not on a set schedule. And when it happens, it affects everything you can see that depends on Boost, or a lot of things that depend on Boost. Another very recent change or update in Arch is mTools. mTools was just updated today. And mTools is a collection of utilities to access DOS disks. If we look at, let's look at in here, uh, the dependencies, and we'll turn on line wrapping. One of the dependencies of Calamari's, uh, is it mTools? No, it's not. I thought mTools was one of the dependencies. It does not appear to be. A dependency. But when you're doing this for yourself or you're attempting to build your own distro, which I really hate because my project is more for a personal use than it is to provide a respin of Arch for mass consumption, it certainly can be done and I make my spins available. So it's not as though you can't do it, but uh, you really need to know how to troubleshoot this type of problem if you're going to do that. If you're doing this just for yourself, you know what? You have this problem. I'll put up a video, hopefully answering your questions, and you can continue on your way. If you're doing this because you have aspirations of distributing your respin as a new distribution. This is all stuff that my own documentation and if you do a search on my YouTube channel, updating Calamari's simple terms, I have three videos that cover 
how to include calamaris, how to update calamaris, and what happens when calamaris changes and you have to adjust to those changes. So a lot of background information, especially this how to include calamaris. If, you, uh, if this video isn't clear enough, I would suggest watching this how to include calamaris video. It was done a year ago. Besides the version numbers, it's still pretty accurate in terms of what you need to know. So, uh, Fan Hong Kwong, if uh, hopefully this helps answer some of your questions. Okay, let's close that. Uh, let's go back to Terminal and the PKG build. We're only at 45% here. Yeah, I don't think we need this terminal open any longer. So let's go ahead and just exit that. And you know what? We will come back when this finishes, and I'll show you how to put it into your build process, uh, replacing the older package of Calamaris that is built against an older version of Boost Libs. So bear with me. I'll be right back. Okay, so Calamari's just finished building. So we have our tar ZST package file here. Now, how we get this into our build is like this. We can close this uh, window here. We don't need that anymore. Let's open up another file manager window. Go over to our build folder. Inside the op directory, here is our easy repo. Now we're going to have to replace this file with that one, but it's not that simple. Let's go ahead and delete this file. And we're going to have to rebuild the repo database files with this new file once it's included. So we're going to get rid of anything that says easy repo. Okay. Now we're ready. So let's copy this over here. In this text file is the instruction to create your repository database files. So let's go and copy that line of text open a terminal and paste it and that's it we can close this text file we can close that and now we have our repo files rebuilt with the new Calamari's package now when we go run our steps sh file, it will include the new repo, the new calamaris, and you should have a working calamaris in your uh, system, in your ISO. Now, hopefully that was clear enough. Uh, I'm not sure how to make it much clearer other than you trying to do it and if you encounter a specific problem, ask again. And that was right here. So let's go ahead and we'll answer this as soon as I post this video and link it in the answer. So Fan Hong Kwan, you will have your answer very shortly. Hope it wasn't too long of a wait, but this was about the soonest I could get to it. So I hope it helps. Take care. Stay safe. See you in another one, folks. Bye-bye.